According to Jennifer Harper from the Washington Times, in an article posted in May 1, 2013, only 28% of Americans label themselves as feminists, as feminist, which is a really small amount of people compared to all the millions of people who are who are currently living in the United States. The culture artifact that I that I chose to bring in is the symbol that represents the Venus the goddess Venus, which is also used to represent the feminist movement. Um, and the symbol is a mirror. Some people believe that feminists are a bunch of like bitter women who are, have their hearts set out to get revenge against men, or they're like a bunch of lesbians, but that's not true. The goal of feminism is to promote equality for women, so I can gain the same respect as men. I consider myself a feminist, and I'm neither a lesbian nor bitter, but I do believe that everyone should be treated equally. Feminism is a movement to help women gain the same respect and rights as men. Um, hopefully after this, you guys will have a better understanding of what it means to be a feminist. Um, the feminist symbol is commonly associated with the colors purple and white. because Those colors um, represent, they stand for loyalty, wisdom, respect, purity. The Venus mirrors it's supposed to symbolize the pride that a woman should feel when she looks at herself in the mirror. It's supposed to reflect the pride. And many feminists choose to um, display this symbol on their jewelry, their clothes, um, their bags. Sometimes they even get tattoos. That's pretty awesome. The Venus mirror symbolizes how we should ignore the idea society has already set on women and how women should try and go, go away from the idea society has set and try to see each other for who we are as individuals. The goal of a feminist is to try and obtain equality, like try to make women and men equal and to diminish any feelings of superiority or inferiority. The value that I have gained is to be more respectful and open-minded towards others who are different and have different ideals in mind. And also to be more independent and to have pride for who I am. I think that growing up in a Hispanic community had a big impact on my feminist ideals. Of growing up, I saw that like a lot of women didn't like wouldn't treat themselves with the respect that they should, or would that, or they wouldn't. They would let others disrespect them, which that's not okay. You should never let it, allow anyone to dis disrespect you. Um, and but I actually didn't pay much attention to it until I entered middle school and we started learning about a women's rights movement. That's when I actually started um, paying more attention to like feminist ideals and started following that. And I started considering myself a feminist in high school. It's like when I got more passionate about women's rights and yeah. I'm actually a really shy person but I try not to let that stand away. I try not to let that stop me from standing up for what I believe in. I know there was a time where I wouldn't speak up for my beliefs because I was afraid of what other people would say. But now I'm like proud to say that I do support women's rights. And I am a feminist, and I believe everybody should be treated equally. And I understand that a lot of people choose to stay quiet because there's like 
a negative connotation on what it means to be a feminist. And a lot of people don't know much about it, so they rather just go on what the rumors they hear instead of the facts. Yeah. They feel proud of being a feminist because it's to me it signifies keeping true to who I am and it shows respect for all the women who started the women's rights uh, decades decades ago. I think we've come a long way from treating men and women equally, but women still are, are not treated as the same as men. We still have a lot to improve, in, improve on as a society in order for that to happen. The only difference between men and women is gender, and that shouldn't stand as an obstacle for us to do what we truly want to do in life. And we should, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all human beings, so we should all treat each other with respect. And like journalist Mendisa Shield said, women are people too, not just cut out figures. And that's all.